the Pinnacle Award for voluntary health agencies, nonprofit organizations, associations, government agencies, and public-private partnerships recognizes an organization that assists patients and their caregivers to achieve better outcomes from the medications. This year's Pinnacle Award recipient in this category is the Norton Sound Region Children's Coalition. The coalition travels to remote villages throughout Alaska to provide vaccinations and education to children and families with limited access to health care. The Norton Sound Region Children's Coalition is a collaboration amongst pharmacists Kylie Goff and Heather Lefevre, physicians and includes nurses as well as community health aides. Together, they have increased completed vaccination series from 24% to 47%, saw more than 70 children and administered 212 vaccinations in the village community of Shishmaref. So our coalition team started out with Kylie and I, um, in addition to Dr. Jay Flynn and Dr. Kyle Pohl. Um, the four of us really had the passion and saw the need to expand what um, we had accomplished in Shishmaref to our entire region. Um, after we had gone to a couple of villages, we had decided to collaborate even more at our facility. We started incorporating nursing, our health aides, our quality department, and just trying to figure out like where we needed um, to bring people to the table that would accomplish the goal to make sure that all of our kids were taken care of in our region. Accessible mostly by small airplanes where traditional healthcare is difficult to accomplish, Norton Sound region is an area of over 44,000 miles, including Nome and 15 surrounding village communities. Um, none of our villages are accessible by roads um, in the winter, and we fly to all of them pretty much exclusively. So we're flying in small eight-passenger planes, um, so that in and of itself presents a challenge because you have to always check the weather before you go to the airport, um, and then you get stuck sometimes in the villages. People have been stuck up to two to three extra days, so that makes a challenge for making sure that you have enough food while you're in the village. But that's just taking care of the team. The bigger portion is that while we're there, we're making sure we're taking care of the children and making sure that we have enough vaccines to get through the entire trip. The pediatric team has visited 14 villages with more than 77 days of clinic and have completed over 1,300 well-child visits. Um, recently, we had a measles and mumps um, outbreak in the state of Alaska. And so, you know, those are two very important vaccines and they're frozen vaccines and we bring them with us. So we would take the vaccine to the patient. So my pharmacy resident actually loaded up on a sled on and was drugged by a, a snow machine out to a patient's house to help deliver health care. From January 1st, 2018 through July 15th, 2019, the pharmacists of the team administered close to 8,000 immunizations. To show the significance for this data, this past September, the pediatric team traveled to the village community of Brevig Mission, and over a three-day span, the 366 vaccinations were administered, and 55 well-child exams were completed, raising the completion rate in Brevig from 22% to 74.39%. In October of 2017, the Norton Sound region was at 60% female and 49% male for completed HPV series. In October of 2018, the Norton Sound region was at 88% and 86% respectively. Since January of 2018, we've had around 30 different um, trips for pediatric clinics in our region. Um, in 2018 alone, we increased the vaccines by 3,500 for our region. So we've made quite the impact, but we are definitely not done. Um, with our ASQ questionnaires with the providers, we've been able to get some of the kiddos, you know, extra resources when needed. And so now we're gonna look at sustainability moving forward. And I think that, like you said, that's our, our major goal is this is a model that we've done with starting out with four people and incorporating more. So how can we make more impact and make it sustainable?